What's up, good people? This your girl, comedian Nikita B, coming at you this absolutely fabulous day. Want to thank all of you being in my inbox, checking on your girl, saying how I was doing, giving me encouraging words, all that good stuff. I sure appreciate you. Um, but as usual, as your hope dealer, your purpose pusher, and as my drunk uncle would say, I am Googleable, baby. Google me, comedian Nikita B. I always try to stay on top of things and encourage and motivate you guys, but um. I'm just leaving out of the pharmacy, right? And I had an encounter with this lady that I've already had an encounter with before. And it just confirmed with me that foolishness doesn't just stop. You don't grow out of it, right? Like, you have to make a conscious decision just to cut it out. Now, I'm going to call this lady Miss Gertrude to protect the innocent and because she is my elder. She's like 130 years old, okay? So, I know she know better. First of all, I parked in the little handicap thing because, you know, they said park in the handicap uh, thing and then come right in here so we can give you what you need. You can get right back out or whatever. And, and I followed instructions. Miss Gertrude going to pull up with her bout itself and her Cadillac Escalade on 32s with a handicap sticker on it. I knew it was about to be something special when Granny got out the car listening to trap music. Why is you listening to Cardi B? Huh? Why? And then get in there and you got a shirt on with your shoulder out. Did, did the motherboard see you this good old morning here? You done outlined your lips with the black liner and put Vaseline on and rub them bad boys together. And, and, and you was done. You understand? Like your face beat. Okay. Get in, I don't know why you parked in my spot anyway. You ain't got no sticker. Now, I'm trying to be cordial because I know you're from the community. I'm like, uh, yo, stick a line because you know good and well ain't nothing about you handicapped. And Tyrone got you that truck before he went in and he just got out. So I need you to calm it all the way down. Bring it down. Then they end up asking her what her email address is for her stuff or whatever. This joker going to say, Granny got that good good at Hotmail.com. I said, the, the devil is a lie. The Lord ain't pleased, Gertrude. Then she keeps going on and on. I remember you. Oh, you remember me? Uh -huh. I remember you when you came and you had to uh, do my assessment so I can get my beneficiaries. It's your benefits, Gertrude. I, rem I remember you too. You stay in public housing. Nothing wrong with it. I stayed there four or five times. You understand? It was, hey, I, whatever. But, um... You was lying to me like I was coming there to inspect your apartment. Don't mind the shoes in my grandbaby's shoes. That is a size 12 man. Your grandboy is 7. If that boy wear that shoe, he has a disability himself. If your grandboy is wearing this shoe, Gertrude, he is in one class all day long. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Your baby's special. I, 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 I'm trying to can with it, y'all, but I just cannot. Because you was too old to be acting this way in this here public place. You was a you 132. You a breath away from Amazing Grace. A step away from Sweet Low Sweet Chariot. You are one wrong decision away from I am free. If you got a regular grandma, I want you to go and give her a hug. You understand? Because everybody ain't blessed with it. I know Gertrude grandchildren is upset. I know they feel some kind of way. She still want to be relevant and act as if she might be um, well, a teenager. As they say, ain't nothing wrong with keeping it together. Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, doing what you do in your uh, golden years. Three scores and ten. That's what they promise you. With reasonable health. And, and you done almost doubled it, Gertrude. So you need to stop the foolishness. The Lord ain't pleased. I'm trying to can with your old behind, but I just absolutely cannot. Y'all need to stop following in behind people just because they old. Well, you know, they older. They should know better. Don't do it to me. 